Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Jake here for another reaction and today I am reacting to Season 2, Episode 9 slash 10, I was made sure of that, of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, <clears throat> so, where I left off last episode, uh, it was like a, like a background, some, like more of a background story on, uh, on uh, Hera and Sabine. Um, quite quite enjoyed uh, Hera's story, it was very enjoyable. Um, Sabine's one, which in the comments a lot of people are saying as well, they didn't enjoy as much. It's like it's considered the not the best, whether that's out of the series or the whole show. But I still enjoyed it. But I again, it wasn't as far as backstories go. Here is was very much complimented her in a sense of look how good she is and what she does, whilst also giving a backstory on why she is doing what she's doing. And it was very odd. Well, there was I didn't really get that sort of like the that from Sabine's sort of, I know a bit about her, but this, this further story about her backstory, you know? Uh, it's still enjoyable episodes, but uh, as for these uh, episodes coming up, someone did say that, I'd, well, I know that I'm about just over a third of the way through the season. I know the story's going to be not like, as, as in like the overarching story is not going to be in each episode going forward now, uh, because the fact that <clears throat> it's a longer series, we have to spread that out. Uh, but again, as long as they progress, we get more background stories and certain characters. Uh, I'm in. I I'm happy with that. Like you know, uh, as long as they keep it feeling Star Warsy, then I'm in as well. So, uh, but yeah, I, 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 that's all. I have, that's all I have to say about that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, um, I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't think there's anything else left to say. So I am just going to jump into these episodes. So. Uh, I hope I enjoy these episodes. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. And if you do, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. That'll be superb. But other than that, see you on the other side. Do I normally do on my left? No, I normally do. See you on the other side. No, camera's out of focus. See you on the other side. Nailed it. We'll be arriving in the Dale Zeno system any moment. Well, Hello. We're up on the last oh, yeah, shit. So we're part of Okay, from the get-go, I was there like, who the hell is it? And I've got we're part of a more bigger rebel <laughs> alliance now. There's nothing. Captain Sindula said you volunteered for this mission. She insisted you could be helpful. Let us hope that is true. Oh, the sass is already strong in this one. Something's about to happen. Yeah. Commander, I was about to say, I, I had a, that was a that was a sound of a Jedi What's sensing happening? something. Are we under attack? By who? By what? Ah, <sighs> fuck's sake. Oh, I was actually about to say, I generally thought it was a Star Destroyer. Phoenix, home to ghosts. We've been pulled out of hyperspace. The Empire! Right. That was annoying me. Give your coordinates quickly. 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 Give your coordinates. Unless they could track the coordinates down because... They were able to release them, but there should have been like, of course, blah, 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 and then off. And just shout Empire. Needs to be more concise. Concise the right word? Fuck it, I'll make it. I'll make it the right word. You can't pull a ship out of hyperspace right? because you never know exactly where Right? It is. That's exactly what threw me off. That's because this isn't a tractor beam. It's a gravity well. When I was at the Academy, they were developing a new cruiser with gravity well projectors powerful enough to pull oh, shit. out of hyperspace. That's sick. Well, it looks like That's sick. Chances are, there's... you'll probably find it not far from where we lost contact with Commander Sato. All right, everybody, gear up. We're going out there. Okay. So, 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 hold on. System. So it looks like uh, they know what system is. Okay, so I retract my statement about coordinates because it looks like they were able to find the system they're in. But not a precise location. It's a whole thing. Anyway, I retract find the statement. Ship, and I bet you find Ezra and the others. Not Rex. I'll take Zeb or Sabine. Rex's military experience will be invaluable. And he can also impersonate a storm. There we go. Right. Yeah. That's because he is a storm. Stop that. No, Stop that. I I'm pausing it again already. I A clone trooper, yes. Listen. I need to state this. Someone in the comments, like, obviously, I, he, he has a lot of trauma to unpack. Uh, here and I completely get that, but like, you know, it's it's a hard thing to work because I'm like, maybe because it's my just affection for Rex, it's just getting in my way. If this was any other trooper, I'd imagine maybe I'd be like, 
I could see. Yeah, maybe. Take your time. Because it's Rex, I'm like, you shut your mouth, Kanan. So, um, yeah, that's probably, that's probably, that's probably my hang up. That's my, uh, that's my trauma, I guess. Same. I'll get us out of this. I've been captured many times. You're not putting my <sighs> I mean, I believe in this confidence. I suspected if we captured even one rebel ship, others would race to the rescue. So we're you the bait. I dare not hope we capture someone as significant as you. And what would your name be, young man? Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> I was actually going to say, you don't you dare for a hunt, give you a real name. I know someone else that goes by the name Jabba, Ezra Bridger. I imagine Agent Canis will be quite pleased uh, to hear you have joined. Hold on. Secure them. Hold on. Hold on. Did has he impersonated Jabba before? I feel like that's happened, has he? I feel like it has. If it has and he's been caught out because you decided to make the same joke twice, Ezra, you need to up your game with your jokes. Change it up. I know he did Lando Calrissian um recently, but uh, Ezra This wasn't my idea. Just try to act like a professional. <laughs> there and forget whose side you're on. I would never be on their side or wear that junk armor. Here are your disguise. <laughs> <sighs> How is it the Empire lets us keep stealing? <laughs> uh, well, it's the same one we used before. They are terrible, the Empire. Terrible in both ways. Terrible at doing what they're doing, but also terrible things they do. <laughs> yeah. well, my expression is wrong. I'm not happy about being on this. Oh, really? Sabine, that is sensational trolling. The Empire is able to intercept our ships in hyperspace. This rebel movement won't last long. I hear what you're That's saying. a very good Remember, point. This is a rescue mission. We'll get some help soon. We're gonna have a 3376 on our hands. Yeah, just throw numbers out there. 3376, priority protocol 7. This is the stuff I can't stand. <laughs> stand by for code. Trust me, the codes are good. The codes aren't gonna be good, are they? Oh, there. <laughs> Unless they're waiting for money inside. See, they don't suspect a thing. Oh, you would say that they suspect easily. They definitely suspect because they already laid a trap. Agent Callus, our new gravity weapon really. <sighs> This guy. And a young one who calls himself. Lock him in a secure cell under triple guard. Triple guard? He is but a child. I He's a slippery little devil. Don't underestimate that boy. I'm certain that the Imperial Navy is more than a match for one. Just put through. Just triple his. Just triple it. We shall see. I'm on my way. Obviously, I don't want him to because I want him to escape. But triple it. Just listen to the people like have had issues yes. with him in the past. That's it, the old Jedi Force trick, baby. You can go on your way. Why not just do it in one go as well? Rather than doing both, just do in one sentence. Uh, maybe I'll practice. Uh, no. oh, your this is awkward. To be a little tight trooper. The commissary. That's the last place I take it. Oh, little bitch. We'll, we'll get him there. We'll get him there. We'll smack him up a little bit later, please. <laughs> That's a very good move, Ezra. When they just gonna pause real quick. When they say triple, oh hold on. Yes. When they said triple, <laughs> it's actually, that's a very good look for him right there. But when they said triple his security, I thought I meant they meant they were gonna put two guards on him anyway. So I thought there was gonna be six. You know, not actual three. It, it, that guy's gonna get very, gonna be shouted out, shouted at very much. You said you wouldn't hurt him. Oh right, okay. You see, you're fine. Aw, what's here? He just took the bow down. Without even flinching. Without even flinching. 
Oh, that's that's something. Listen, that's something he can hold over them, but also that's something they can hold over him. And Chopper's just in the midst of all of it, just enjoying it all, laughing gleefully. Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, oh. I'd panic if I was you. What just happened? Oh, oh blame on the other troopers. See them? <laughs> you were so outnumbered. There was a firefight. Oh, Chopper, you absolute. Grass, you rats! <laughs> you, you, you were dressed like stormtroopers. This armor doesn't protect you from anything. Well, I told you. Now it's, not <laughs> it's not as good as the clone ones, baby. Let's get Sato and get out of here. Kanan, come on. To destroy this Bigger ship. picture. You know many stormtroopers are heading this. Part of the reason I took this mission was to get a break from uh, this. It's, okay, Chopper and I will meet you at Sato. It's ship. two stubborn men going at it. He takes after Harris sometimes. <laughs> Jesus, the bed going at it, but also it's like, <laughs> for sake, Rex. Um, Jesus, the bed going at, but it is. It's just like a. Kanan, uh, they're both right in their own way, but sure. But Kanan's very much is focusing on the mission at hand, but which is weird because Kanan very much can stray from missions like sort of objectives. So the idea, the bigger picture for the victory, for not just for them, but also for the rebellion would be to destroy this thing. So a little bit shocked that because that this is definitely what this is definitely the thought process of uh of Rex. Is his thought process would definitely be, oh, there's a weapon that could be would get us an upper hand in this war. Get it completely. Uh well I just a little bit shocked that Kane is this very so narrow mind not not narrow mind because he's not a narrow minded individual. Is that it's in this case it's very much a and I can't work out if he is doing it because he just wants to save Kane and, and Sato. Uh, not Kane, sorry. Um, Ezra and Sato, but mainly probably Ezra. But also, it's like... Is is he is he doing it to just be petty? Just to be like, no, uh, we were told this one and that's it, you know? The prisoner known as Jabba has escaped. <laughs> all levels down. We didn't listen. The they never place. listen. They never listen. And Commander... When you find the boy, eliminate him. I would hate it if we proved ancient. <laughs> oh, this guy's sedictive. Uh, sedictive? Sadistic is for sedictive. Sadistic. Oh, you got a better plan? Yeah. Well, what is it? Oh, sugar, honey, iced tea. We just were just out here just. Yeah, <laughs> that is that is honestly that that was when you've done a stealthy mission for a while. Like uh, the first one that comes to my head is Last of Us Batman games when you're going around trying to be stealthy, and it gets to the point where it is that you've just had enough, or one catches you, and you're just like fuck this, and then you just said smashing them up. I'm the bait, <laughs> as always. Okay. Now he has to just give it away. There we go. Well done. <laughs> Surely when someone says come and get me, that should trigger you to go Right, they obviously want me out of this way out of the way, so let's pay attention. Like like go bro, if you just did that, I was just like uh, uh, I'd there I'd be like like more glad be like, yeah, that's a good that's a good plan. But for him to be like, come and get me, surely you should be like a Who's behind me then? Like, you know? <laughs> Idiots. Oh, Okay, so it's 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 for anyone and everyone. Well, this is cool. I like this. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Not yet! He's gonna do it. Oh, he's not. That's right. He did it to save you. He definitely saved you. Add another. Add another three confirmed kills to Chopper's uh, list. Oh, that's shitty. Ezra's doing fine. You mean he escaped on his own? Of course, he, he said he would. To do that. I'll pull, you fire. <laughs> Like old times. Down. Oh, let's go. <laughs> That's cheating. Not cheating. 
It's not cheating. That is overpowered as hell, but that is... Imagine that thing. I'm safe behind it. Yoink! We're on our way back. Where are you? Oh, too old for this running. What are you doing? I'm getting too old for this shit. I'm too old for this shit. Well, we're not losing Rex, that's for certain. They can't give me Rex back and... Oh, wait, the Stormtroopers are... Oh, no, Rex! Oh, we uh, we actually might lose Rex in some form. I did, uh, I'm going to take it back by now. I did actually think they would get... Rex, I honestly thought he was... It was going to be like a... Kane would go back... Well, the Kane, Kane might still come back from him, actually. Uh, but more so that we'd get to the ship and be like, Oh, no, we've lost them. And then he then just comes out all heroically. But he is getting too old for this shit. Still is to me, baby. To the galaxy. You could wear that armor and be proud of your Oh, that is a sweet oh, deal if he actually service. was a little bit of a weasel. Really He's not. That's unfortunate. That's my boy. Because you are going to die in it. They're not implanting him again, are they? That's a Kaden. Let's get out of here. That's it, Kaden. Yes, Kaden. Yes, you do. All right, okay. Yes, you do. I'm so proud of you, Kaden. That was a lovely moment there. That to stop stopping in the middle and censor. That was great. What I will say, have they actually implanted them again? Because it felt like they were about to with that little needle. But you know, they implant the, the, the controlling sort of thing. Stop doing this, kid. Yes, Ezra. Put your guns down. Put your guns down. Don't need it. <laughs> I mean, that's just that's just sick. Right. So it looks like what they've done. The cheeky fuckers. What they've done is that must have been an ad break moment, or just to get me worried. Because why was Rex suddenly screaming and like he was getting injected with something or killed? Oh. Will know or care. I will. <laughs> well, that's dramatic as hell. Down, down. Oh. Oh, he just headbutted a helmet. Wow. A headbutted helmet with not even like a. There's always escape pods. Surely they would disable the escape pods straight away on the ship. Pilot, disengage. Surely that you would just straight away, well, Sir, lock the all clamps. Escaping. Shall I order our cruisers to intercept? Prepare to fire the gravity wells. Oh shit! Yeah, we're supposed to be destroying this. Shop about to blow up some more people. Sabotage that thing, right? We are caught again. Uh, chopper. You said you sabotaged it. Chopper? What do you mean, wait for it? Wait for <laughs> Sir, the weapon is malfunctioning. It's drawing in our cruisers, too. Oh, shit. Oh, that's smart. That's sick. Choppers rig their own weapon against them. Chopper. Choppy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, free. That was sick. That was an entire ship filled with people. And Chopper's just gone out there and with. Oh, now you're the big hero? That he's the big bloody mass murderer. <laughs> he's just, without even second guessing or blinking, he's just gone. I could just destroy this or I could destroy everything. Everyone. God, I love that droid. <laughs> they said not. They said to keep an eye on Ezra Bridger. Admiral had some problems with the boy. I see. 
<laughs> you idiot. Should have listened, but they never do. They never listen. You know, when you two aren't fighting each other, you fight really well together. Jedi and clones. As it was meant to be. As it was meant to be. You know, thanks. Yeah, yeah. I know. Well, I guess. Gosh, just hug. Just hug. Kanan, kiss his bald head. I'll take that. My boys. My boys. That kind of made me a little bit emotional. <laughs> a bit teary-eyed from that. And that, guys, my reaction to Season 2, Episode 9. I had to read there again. I'm terrible. How am I this bad? Uh, episode 9 of uh, Star Wars Rebels. Uh, very enjoyable episode. Really enjoyed that. Quite a bit at stake, but not like oh, like whole galaxy at stake. It was like uh, more so the with Sato taken. That's a key figure of the rebellion, so they could have done anything and every, everything with them to help infiltrate, break down, torture them to reveal certain like sort of like secrets, all that sort of stuff. So it was a big issue in that sense, but it was so good to get like Rex and. And uh, and Kane to kind of squashed their beef. It was needed. It was needed. Um, but yeah, it was a uh, <clears throat> very enjoyable that between them. Ezra again to show off a little bit as well to be shown. Hey, I'm not just a kid. I'm not some sort of like just agile teenager that sort of thing. I'm you know like so I, I can do shit. I can escape. I can protect. I can attack. <laughs> uh, I think I just did a meme. I think from the internet. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, but yeah, but like that, just be. But he can strategize. He can. It's. It's. He just. It was a good episode for the ones that we care about, as in Rex, Kanan, and um, and Ezra to show off his abilities, but also the other two to actually finally get along. Uh, but also, uh, it was good just to progress the story a bit, and the fact that they're still trying to catch. Not too much. Not not overarching story, but the fact they're still trying to like out here catch him. The fact that he developed such a weapon as well. That was that like as well. <clears throat> that's threw that threw me off, but um, yeah. Thought, I thought honestly, I thought it was a very very good episode. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'll go through my notes quickly. Yeah, the whole pulling it a hype space thing, and when they did it, I was like, this 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 didn't seem right to me. Uh, and it was right that they can't do that. I'm glad they did confirm that. But the fact they were working on a weapon to actually pull them out of hyperspace is unreal. Like it it makes sense. If it is like you go through this thing, and if you just got like sort of, if you have got like a gravity weapon that literally is just to pull out or pull down or whichever way you direct it, or it's to pull out. Like it, it makes sense, but it, it's yeah, it's it, it's crazy. The fact that they did they did that was nuts. <laughs> but yeah, um, they were, I don't don't want to join. I want, don't want Rex to join them. We actually see that their whole sort of like. It looks like to me, Kane has finally got on over his issues because you know. It, I mean, he he, he 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 has when you think he has, you know, he, it's. It, it'll still be some underlying line sort of stuff, I'd imagine, but to go from completely being no, no, I'm, I don't want to pair of it, like to go from the trauma of seeing the uh, the clones again to then having to like force himself to trust them because of. The gang being like, let's trust him, and then also Ahsoka being like, he's my friend. So it's it's good that we got the stare him still being a bit a little bitch about it, you know. <laughs> but again, it's his trauma to process, and he did process it. He he did he needed his time, and I'm just glad that happened. Uh, Jabba the Hutt, if he's if you're here during this little bit of bit, Jabba the Hutt, comment down below when he did use that before. I feel like I have seen that more than likely I have. If it's been told in this series that he did go from before, he did. So just let me know what episode it was, really. Um, yeah, the whole sort of thing to like sort of with uh, with Calisane put extra men on Ezra Bridger because he will escape. He's slippery and he's like, Pff. okay. Now unless he actually did listen to him and that trio was just the one, uh, the one um, security detail, then. He's he's a flipping idiot, but if that was here, them tripling, which meant they their normal security detail on a Jedi is one person with their weapon on them, like literally in reach. 
Ezra, like, again, he, he, the guy's in charge is an idiot, and those troopers, again, who are all pretty much idiots anyway. But I, I'm just glad that they Ezra let them live so they can live with their stupidity, you know? Um, but yeah. Um, but then for that follow-up by Ezra shooting um, <laughs> Rex, <laughs> Rex and Kanan, great stuff. Chopper ratting on him as well. Absolutely sensational stuff. It was like no, no... Like hesitation afterwards, it was like, yeah, I'm gonna let you finish what you lie. Bam! There's the evidence. It's so good. It makes sense completely. What's he gonna expect? Two troopers running towards him. Thank God he did save his son. Thank God he wasn't completely taught by Rex, you know, because uh, Rex would have like was literally like, should have killed him, and I would have killed him. <laughs> but luckily, he's been taught by a Jedi, which is like, life is precious. Just done. Hopefully, they'll change. But yeah. Um, Rex and Kanan arguing. The whole thing about Ezra was like, I need the reason why I got wanted to get uh, do this de- uh, this mission was to get away from this. It's toxic. It's it is toxic. Yeah. And again, like I said, is that I couldn't work out if Kanan was just being petty uh, rather than seeing the big picture. But then again, because he's not a, he's not a narrow minded person, he can see bigger pictures. But it is. It's probably probably was. But again, they've forgiven, so we'll forgive them. Um, but yeah, so Ezra's reason behind it just to get away from is kind of. That should shame them, and it kind of did, I guess, into sort of becoming friends. Um, I love the whole thing with <clears throat> as well. There was about two trusts in a row. It was, it was trust Rex, Rex saying, "Trust me, go. I've got this." He did his best, but obviously, he, he got overran. He was all he's old. You can't expect him to be what he was. Unfortunately, the clones are just clones of people that feel age rather than just be like just never feel any pain, anything like this. I mean, just constantly be perfect. So it, it sort of, it made sense that he did kind of get over, overran, but, um, overrun, no, he got overrun, overrun, either way. He, um, yeah, so it did make sense, but I love the whole thing, but trust me, I got this, go, I'll meet you there. Followed by Ezra going, to, uh, to Sato going, trust me, I've got this. And he goes, you got this? And then bam, Ezra then just starts doing flips and shit, uh, going around, Splashing, getting everyone all wet. Because this is Sea World. Because as real as it get. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Don't you ever forget. I'm on a boat. That's um. I'm on a boat by Lonely Island. Sorry, but yeah. Um. But he said to be honest. He said just going around and just wrecking them. Wreck it. Wreck it. Wreck it, Ralph. That's what he was. He was absolutely destroying them. In 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 and and when they say destroy, doing Ezra things where he was just kicking them, stunning them, doing his things that like he's not taking life. He's he's just there going like. Where the other two were like, oh, literally use the force to pull him out so I could shoot him, and it's 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 sweet, but also it was lethal, Ezra, in that moment. And Sato then be like, right, okay, I'm I'm sorry, I I miss, I I'm sorry, I didn't understand your game. That's another meme from the internet I got from Shaq saying it. So I'm I'm just full of just ridiculousness right now. Um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, so I really I really enjoyed that bit as well. Um. Again, 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 that little fake out they did where it sounded like it, it sounded like they were doing something to Rex again. Again, I don't trust these guys, so there is a chance. There is a chance they could have, and it's going to be something that might get revealed later on. Who knows? But uh, I don't think it's it's me. Even though it was my initial thought, it, just, it it seems like it just it was just cut to get you a little bit worried. So so it would just just be like I like. Kanan, I have to go save him. That moment where he's just standing still like, I have to go save my friend. What a lovely arc for him. What a lovely moment. Uh, him, like, just get letting him shoot all around him. Like, nope, got to do this. This is happening. Um, yeah, what a lovely, great moment. Him then shouting, I care, before them taking him out. But he fucking wrecks headburn a guy with a helmet and be like, not being afterwards going, oh, oh, oh. Like, I understand that, like, you know, it's flimsy armor, but still, he's not like, Ah, <laughs> but that's that's our boy Rex. That's our boy Rexy. Um, yeah, Chopper Slaughter. That's why I wrote down three after this. Chopper Slaughter. Again, great, well, great. Rather than just blow it up, he, he thought maximum deletion. Let me, let me, let me find a way that's going to just. It's just. It it, it is. Uh, we should. He should be leading the front line. Just saying. Just let him make all the plans. Because if you're looking to do stealth, he'll kill them all. If you're looking to not do stealth, he'll kill them all. If you're looking to kill them all, he'll kill them all. If you're looking to take no casualties, he'll kill them all. It's it's just... 
He's out here just doing God's work because he is a God. A vengeful God. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, again, Callus taking that other L. There you go. Take that. Surely they need to look into demoting him or, you know, chopping his head off or something because he's taken too many L's. Too many L's. And then the salute at the end that made me all teary eye. It was a wonderful episode. Very happy with that. So, yeah, I think that was, that was great. Uh, yeah, so... <clears throat> Hopefully the next episode is just as good. I do hope I do hope that. Uh, but I am going to jump into that now whilst I get my pages in order. So yeah, so uh, I still haven't worked out my little next bit in my bit into the next bits when I do two like, double episodes in one go. So I'll just do it like I normally do, which is again I'm going to jump into this next episode. So I hope enjoy. I hope you, I hope I enjoy this next episode. I hope you enjoy this other reaction. And if you do, drop a like, subscribe, notification bells, all that jazz. <sighs> I'll see you on the other side. We're away from trouble now. A new life awaits us both. Oh, they're not about to be killed, are they? Oh, Christ. That was... You jinxed yourself there. I I would think... If I have to... I think I'd just stay silent all the way through because I wouldn't want to jinx myself. Oh the shit, the Grand Inquisitor is here. It's been no, the Grand the Inquisitor is not the Grand Inquisitor, sorry. Are they looking for Jedi? No. No. Oh! Throw your baby through the gap! Fear not, old one. We wish to make friends. But first we Sarah. Have no, 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 that someone's told me that's Sarah Michelle Geller. That's Sarah Michelle Geller. So. I wish she touched my face. There's no way he just slaughtered them, right? I mean, it makes sense that I get it, but it was like, it seemed quite unnecessary. Oh, she's back. This is unexpected. She is back. Don't get me wrong, it's always good to see you, but... Yes, it is. There's trouble. What I have to say is Jedi business. Then I guess I qualify. <laughs> what about Ezra? More than I do. What about Ezra? Oh, Ezra's gonna take this person. He's gonna be in the vents. Mustafar, to find out more about the Sith Lord. And? Information about him eludes me. Yeah? But I've learned more about his... I'm in. You should have Ezra join you. <laughs> He's at the He's door. Already briefed on the mission. Or is he in the vents? <laughs> I was told he'd be in the vents. <laughs> Bring Zeb as well. He proved himself against the... Inquisitor. Zeb wasn't in the last episode. Oh, where are we going? I didn't realize he wasn't. What do you sense? What does your elf eye see? Oh no. Oh no. They're not waiting for us, are they? Oh. Are you bait? You're safe with me. Help my grandchild. Your grandchild. Grandchild? took her. The red blade. I thought you were mama. But she. She has it. Rest. You need to. Has what? The baby has the force? Okay, yes, you found me. Praise him like you should. Yes, thank you. Where was that shot when you were shooting that? Oh, no, sorry. There's about 20 about to show up right now. But I was about to say, maybe shoot like that next time when you're looking at Callus, but I'm fairly certain Callus... No. Who is it again? No, it was, was it the Inquisitor? I think it was the Inquisitor, actually. That was it. I think it was the Inquisitor. They just used the force to stop it. I was like, that's it. I, I got to get mixed up there. Watch so many. Either way, 20 of them about to show, show up. He's just basically wishing to exist. It'll be too soon. Let's blast that ship and get out of here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh my god, the baby. The baby. The baby's in head. That baby is cocooned to shit. No, we can't just leave it here. Of course you'd want to leave it here, Chopper, you savage. Blow up the ship after we get the baby. What is wrong? 
wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> he does not care for any no form of life. Cannon, I, I think we're too late. No, we're not. Oh. Over here. She's alive. Pipey? Her child. She thinks they came for her child. So they are after the, they are after the babies to kill. Or to at least turn him to the dark side first. She managed to send her child away with a droid. Actually, I'm trying to think now because the whole idea was for them to stomp out on. Obviously, we saw what happened to the to all the uh, younglings with Anakin in Episode Three, and I I know we want to find out that the whole thing is to track down the Jedi. Um, I can't work out now if it's from this. Or if it was from uh, Obi Wan, if um, if it, we learned that they were just trying to get the babs, the babies, I think we, I think that was, I think it was Obi Wan. We learned that. So is this the stare? Because obviously they've taken the Inquisitors from. I'm fairly certain this show. I don't think they they may not. They may have popped up in other things before this, probably. But at least from, I'm going to assume that they've taken it from this show. Tell me if I'm wrong. But uh, so I, this is the starting point. So maybe that that's where they got the idea from. But I, I might just be making it up. I don't think I am though. It's probably when you have so much, trying to put so much law in your head, you know. Your tells all yours. <laughs> Motherhood suits you. No fatherhood. No, just hood suits you. Is he just gonna just kidnap a just a random droid with a baby? That's right. Ura. This what he doesn't understand this either. He doesn't understand droids because he doesn't understand Chopper. That's a baby. Hope I'm holding it right side up. Fuck's sake! You know you're holding it right side up. Parenthood suit you. Parenthood suit you. Oh, if we find out he had a family before his his whole his species was destroyed, I'll cry. Like, I mean, I mean, kids. Oh, shit. Get out of it. Get out of it. Run. Why are you still staying still? Why are you staying still? Run. Don't. You goddamn idiot. On the move. Run into you. This kid's very. This baby's very calm. We'll be in the tower. Are they gonna sense that he went in there? Or hear the baby? They are inside. This baby, man. I know you want your mama. You but <laughs> okay, maybe it's not 20 million droids, but there's another droid in play now. What happened to a good old force crush? Like. Force crush that bitch. Something else I've always wondered as well is that they were listening out for the, the baby as well, and they've got great hearing, and also the force helps them listen, hear things, regardless if it's, uh, you know, Jedi or the dark side, you know? And they can sense Jedi when they're around. So, how is it sometimes they can and can't? Obviously, they were able to do it, like, I mean, more so from, um, um, I, I can't believe what sister she is. I don't think it's actually mentioned yet. I don't know, it might be. But, um, Sarah Michelle Gellar, so let's, let's say, let, let's go Sarah. Uh, yeah, Sarah's, um, Inquisitor, yeah. Like, how she not sense that there? Like, that there's another Jedi in play that isn't what, you know... What, 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 like that isn't us, you know. That isn't filled with darkness, but hope and love. But also, you're not being stealthy. Stealth boots. That's what you need. Okay. Stealth boots. How's the baby? Just start shrieking again. <laughs> oh, he wasn't joking, Ezra. Well, try holding him. Ease him. Ease him with the with with the yeah. Ease him with the Jedi Force, baby. It's a very echoey be a building because they should have found they should have found it by now. I 
don't know what to do with it. Whatever you're doing, stop it. You are <laughs> Smooth, boys. Smooth. Could be structural damage. Oh my god! They called your bluff. Oh, not bluff, sorry. They, there was no bluff. They, you look at them up. They was... They lit. They called your grenade and threw it back. Seventh sister. She's seventh sister. And he's fifth. There we go. <laughs> Get played, nerds. Oh god, he loves a good vent. Because he senses your fear. How can he sense my fear? Because he's strong with the fear. Right? Okay, yes! Of course. Go after these kids because they're like you, Ezra. May the force be with you. And also with you. Well, hang on, little buddy. We're gonna go for a ride. I honestly thought he was just gonna drop the baby down. I honestly thought he was just going to drop the baby there, <laughs> rather than go along with him. That's it, Ezra. That's it, Ezra. About time. Cool, 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 cool. This is what I wanted. Oh, poor Zeb. He might actually be outmatched in this. Because this, that guy's a brute, but with the force and a lightsaber, you know? To get you back to your mother, maybe you could come live with us on Garel. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Fatherhood suits you, Ezra. Oh, this fucking droid. Someone needs to your mother, maybe you could come live with us on Garel. I thought the droid was just going to follow him, and it might still follow him. They've just. Ezra has just given away their entire operation. Not entire operation. Where the entire operation base, where they're based. Oh, Ezra, you. Woo! I saw instant anger. I felt instant anger there. Oh, lovely stuff. I didn't. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Poor guy. That poor, per per poor person just there literally getting thrown off. Just, just for... <laughs> Could have been out anymore. Do you know those memes that you see of people say, like, me looking at, um... When, when uh, the Hulk throws a, a care at an alien, at the Chitari during a battle in New York, and he misses, and it's a first face like, because he's usually throwing New York care. That's what it feels like. These sort of, that mean we're sort of like a, you're just sort of walk, he's just going along, driving home. Probably had a long, hard day at work, thinking, I'm going to go home, going to have a relax, have some green goo, um, and just sort of watch some stuff, or read read this and that. And he's there, just he's, he's just busted, like... Busted his ass off at work, and on his way home, he's like, <sighs> and then bam, in come the Inquisitors, bam, you're off, thrown. He's dead. He's no, he's not surviving. He's dead. Or if not that, then he's been destroyed completely to the point that he can't probably work anymore. And then, but he's not going to be able to work, which means he won't be able to get money, which won't be means he won't be able to pay the child support because his wife let. I made up a story now. Yes, get down. Oh, shh. That was actually very, very well done by uh, Fifth Brother. Yeah, just say that again. This poor guy as well. He's, he's going to have to pay the money to get that car fixed as well. A speeder fix. Let me in, chopper. Your door is locked. I'm a little preoccupied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor, poor Zeb's just getting effed up. Zeb, you gotta tag Ezra in a little bit, mate. Yes, Ezra. Yes, Ezra. Oh. Maybe. Oh, I said. 
too many S's. <gasps> she's here, 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 yeah. Yeah, look worried, look worried, look worried. <laughs> I'm about to see Ahsoka fight for the first time in ages. Are we just gonna not show it? Thank you. We just hold her back. I know why you want the children. Well, who doesn't want to be a mother? Oh, that's sadistic as fuck. I'm just so happy to have a soga back. She'll just come to us. Yes, yes, she will. Like you're nothing, because that's all you wear, fifth brother. Nothing. And you seventh sister. So Katano's <laughs> done with you. Rip a pair. Rip a pair in her hands. Oh, yes she yes she is. I know that it's a you are beaten, right? I know they are saying it, and I know it's not in the Jedi to take lives when they're unarmed or something like that, but <clears throat> you know, chopping off a limb might help. You know, don't get me wrong, we've seen Darth Vader lost his limbs. It's, uh, well, sorry. Yeah, no, he was Darth Vader at the time. Um, uh, yeah, because he was no longer Anakin Skywalker. Uh, we see what happened to him. Uh, we saw what happened to Darth Maul. <laughs> and even though he lost his leg, so... Uh, and we saw with, you know, when Luke was hand... Like, you know, it, they, so they could do it. But, you know, it doesn't make them as... Does it make them stronger to have those ones from what it seems? It, it seems it can still be a bit of... No, so just take off a limb. It would just delay them a little, their recovery that bit more, which means, you know, I, I don't know, man. It looks like you are the one that is beaten. Do some flips. There we go. Mm, your capture will please Lord Vader. That's his name. Does she reckon she, she, she hasn't heard his name yet? You all are nothing to her. You are nothing to her. My queen. My queen. I wish I... I we got Ahsoka in a fight and I loved it. I just wish I had a bit more time with it, you know? That would have been just a bit more time. My baby! That's exactly what you just said like there. They're force sensitive. I've seen this before. A Sith Lord attempted the same thing back in the Clone Wars, but the Jedi Order stopped him. And now there's no Jedi Order to protect them. So that's where I also saw her as well, I, th I think. Oh my god, even Chopper's been a dad. Okay. I guess this is beautiful. Oh, team. Team, team, team. But your pe proud parents, that's what we are. Oh, yeah, the rat. The f little snitch droid fuck. Ezra. Ezra, you have actually fucked up for the last time. Sarah Michelle Geller, I am. I'm not happy with you. Right now, because I'm annoyed at Ezra for just opening his bloody mouth. I can't, I, you can't expect to always be listened to. I get that, but still, Ezra has ruined this team for the last time. He hasn't. He'll do it again. And that guy's my reaction to uh, Star Wars, uh, Star Wars Rebels, uh, season two, episode ten. Um, another enjoyable episode. Holy shizzle! Um, that was that was great. That was so good. These these, these two were great. Like in compare, like how I have been with this season. Maybe so far, maybe the person was right that said, uh, the episode that's doing the backstory to do with uh, Sabine is one of the weaker ones because to get the ones before that thoroughly, thoroughly. Not saying that that one was bad, but like you know, I thoroughly enjoyed the other ones prior to that, and then these two have, have been unreal. They've been so good. They. I'm just yeah. I'm just I'm just so happy with that episode to get the development 
Again, was it in the Clone Wars that I, again, I'm trying to, I, I, again, I watched the Clone Wars in such a short amount of time. So I'm, I'm unsure, I, I will eventually go back to them and rewatch them, like, it casually and actually take, like, sort of things. I, uh, but, yeah, did it, did, did, what, did I see that where they were tracking down, the, that sounds familiar. That does sound familiar, doesn't it? Huh. But also, I'm fairly certain we heard about an Obi Wan, the, like the underground uh, system that was helping the uh, four sensitive children to escape. Um. Yeah, it's it's it, it's a thing. Anyway, yeah. So, but again, again, it's it's. It, but, but let me know down below if I have if it just the specific episodes and the specific moments in the films or the TV shows where it has been mentioned to. Because you know, I'd like to know that. Because again. There's such a vast amount of lore to this, and there's so many different medias to watch it on and listen to and play and stuff. I just yeah, it's a whole thing. But yeah, so but go, going off my notes, but so far that was a great episode. Uh, the fact that it's there, it was the Inquisitors ch hunted down babies. I completely forgot in that moment when there was guns towards baby. I was like, these these guys are going for they're not going what they go. And then obviously then it hits me later. I'm like, oh yeah, hold on, this is their bread and butter, wasn't it? Um. I don't know if bread and butter is a th term that's used outside of the UK and Ireland. Uh, bread and butter means like this is your. Oh, basically, they're trying to find, trying to use another, trying to use another. Bread and butter is like this is what you do. It's what it's it's what your main source of income is. Is what your main job is. It's what you were. Yeah, you basically do. You know. So that, just thought I'd give you a quick, <laughs> quick uh, it's your bread and butter, yeah, because it's like the main staple. That's probably the best way to describe it of what you do. But yeah, so uh, but I forgot about that. Um, I love the Jedi business straight away. I knew that knew that Ezra was gonna be on the outside. Love the fact that we got the like that she's feeling she's trying to work out the Sith Lord and Mustafar system or Mustafar alone, but not hearing much, just know more about the uh, Inquisitors that they have to, uh, to do their dirty work. So. I'm glad we got up um, some more of that, you know. Um, yeah, so yeah, but that, that, that sort of implant of like sort of, that, not imp the input of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little sprinkling of story, I guess. That, that's what I'm going with. A little sprinkling of story is like, I'm doing this in the background, but now I need your help for this. So we know this is what she's doing in the meantime, and now, but it's still laying the foundations that, remember, we know it's Vader. She. I kind of got off that she felt something that was not something she felt in a long time, but she's sort of kind of in denial. That's why I feel personally, but other people have different uh, things I'd imagine. Um, but yeah, so what is that? So she, we're now just getting this, this, the the progression of her, her, her of her of that moment, and then we want eventually we get it towards the end as well. But I'll get onto that. But I love the fact that she we got that reference, but she still hasn't worked it out. But she's trying to just gives that love what she's doing when she's not on screen with us. She's doing this, you know. Um, wrote baby on board, which I didn't say during my reaction, which ran me up. It should have when I was in my note. But baby on board, uh, that moment of uh, of uh, Zeb finding and then not knowing how to be a parent. Uh, Chopper willing to just be like, ah, fuck it, leave him, just crack a window. That sort of thing, you know. <laughs> just, uh, so that was great. Uh, again, the confirmation of seventh sister and fifth brother. Glad we got that out of the way. Um, and yeah, so uh, then obviously going with Zeb, uh, not Zeb, sorry, with the Kanan and Ezra going along and finding uh, the mother and just like that lovely little moment where it's like, I promise you, I will find your kid. We, we will return him to you. That sort of crippling promise to be wrong she's gonna hold against you but that's sort of like but a great promise nonetheless i really enjoyed that um yeah that was great as for um as for yeah that whole scene like again that that the heartbreaking moment of a mother losing her baby like like the other one did as well it's just so sad you know but all works out in the end so far like you know it might tragically die later on at the hands of another one but who knows let's just hope well we know they, they're coming for them to their home planet. Well, their base, sorry. Anyway, I'll get back to Ezra in a bit. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but that got a little great moment. Obviously, then, <laughs> Zeb finding the baby, take it off the droid, be like, oh, I don't know what to do it. Then w witnessing the droid and its carriage get destroyed. And then not only that, see it then go, oh, shit, this is where we're hiding from. Then stand in the middle of the pavement, sidewalk, whatever you want to call it. 
watching the Inquisitors like, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And then the baby starts going, ah! Like, sh shut that baby up. Just not like to, to the extent where it stops making noise completely, but muffle that bitch and run. It's just, of course, the baby's four senses, so they would eventually pick it up, but at least delay it a little bit longer, Zeb. Um, but yeah, that droid getting thrown out, knew it was going to bloody bite us in the ass. Again, force crushing. I don't know what level of Jedi you have to be to be able to just go like that, and then, because, you know, but still. Force crush. Um, especially when it's one. Um... Yeah, but then obviously then them going through the building, trying their best not to hide. Uh, again, eventually got there in the end to find out the baby is force sensitive. Um, but yeah, but again, yeah, them giving it to Ezra and be like they could sense your fear because it is force sensitive. You need to find that sort of calmness. Obviously, Ezra was able to calm down and that calm him down, and that's what made the fifth brother go like for a second. But then he got distracted because I think if you gave another three seconds, he would have just done it anyway. Just because you would have carried on. But in that time, obviously, Kane and then Zeb turn up. And poor Zeb, I want to say again, he's getting, he got absolutely thrown around this episode. He is not able to keep up with this shit. Like, yeah, cra crazy. But he tries his best. I'm glad he's there. But he tries his best. But yeah, that was, poor guy. But yeah, so, but then obviously, then as we're going out and saying that blasted line that the droid hears and just reveals the base, it's so on point for Ezra. So on point for Ezra. But again, but you can't blame him. Like, I do, but I can't because he can't expect the droid to be... He spotted the droid, actually. He knows it's out there. But you can't blame him because, again, you don't expect the droid to be listening at all times, but you should do. But I, I'm... Oh, my God, I cannot forgive him. I actually can't forgive him. I'm a, trying to, and I keep on coming with something else out to stop myself. Um, but, yeah. But still, it's just... It, yeah, but again, that moment, that's, it's just, it's, yeah, yeah, I'm going to move on from that bit, because I'm, because I can't seem to forgive him. Um, that escape, but that, that bit between escape again with, uh, like, Zeb being thrown out a little bit, but then Kanan trying his best, but of course, it's only so much he can do when it's two against one, especially when, you know, and so, yeah, I, I, yeah, but then that whole moment of bam, Let's 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 leg it. Like no when to retreat. Shoot the windows. There you go. Into the speedster. They take their guy for along for a ride. Have it thrown him out. Obviously, then the the other guys then uh, the inquisitors jump in straight away. No, we don't even hesitate. Like rather go. Let us both use uh, jealousy. Just rather do that. Rather go. Let's both do that. Drive after them, or we will kill you. They've just gone. You're gonna waste our time. Bam out. Uh, his head barely even splattered on the floor, and they were already around the corner. It was savage, you know. Um, but yeah, so it, it was a that little chase sequence again. Great for them to actually take out the the Inquisitor ship. But then what a shot from the fifth brother to take out their ship. That was great. And again, it's only so much that then Zeb can do. He gets thrown out of the way straight away. Only so much then that Kanan can do when there's two of them out there, which can just mess you up. But it's not. Oh, does skip anything here? Yeah, no. I, wrote, I literally, I literally wrote then Ahsoka rocks up because that moment of her. The door's opening and we get we get her back. We get we get a Sokatana back. That moment of again, I wish we just had a little bit more moment, but hopefully I'll get more of that throughout the series. Hopefully it, it just it, but it's enough just to get me giddy. Her being able to show she is, even though she isn't a Jedi, she is everything but in name a Jedi, you know? She she was trained by some of the most powerful Jedi in like in force training and combat training she she literally the whole thing was that she was brought up during a time of war where she had to be a warrior you know she her whole thing is combat and who better than one of the best lightsaber wielders to teach her than Anakin who learned from one of the best lightsaber wielders in Obi-Wan it's just you learned from Poikon. Oh. Um, actually, whilst I have you here, if you're still here, by the way, I, I did a pub quiz the other day, uh, the other day with my friends, and one of the questions was, name the order in which uh, these people die in uh, the Star Wars films, and uh, it was 
I can't remember what the order was out of order, but basically I got it right, but I'm annoyed at how slow it took me. Uh, but it was a team effort. I was like, because my I stumbled and I got the first two because it it went the option. I'll get them out of order. I think it went it went uh, Mace Windu, uh, Qui Gon, Jin, uh, Jango Fett, and um, Dooku. That's how it went. So straight away I was like, well, the first one was was oh it was Qui Gon we got that and then second one then was Django Fett so we got that in out of the way and uh, and then it was like and I was like yeah and then after that it was like well then it was episode three we know Dooku gets it I'm explaining it but I've done the first two and I was like then Dooku got ex- ex- executed at the start and then my mate just went bam bam it's a nice team effort but I was really proud of us for doing it it was a great cohesion between us but we weren't the fastest in getting it so we didn't get the extra points and that wound me up just thought I'd let you know that uh I. I'm a little bit of a nerd for it, but I'm not as nerdy as I wish I could be. Uh, would have got better points if it was. But yeah, so I know that's out of the way. Go back to the notes. Uh, but yeah, great having uh, Ahsoka to rock up. Having little moments of literally putting them on their ass. Showing showing Kanan, even though Kanan's a very capable Jedi. To show him that as in like, not show him up, but just to show how capable Kanan is. To then not be knocked out of these people. Then for Ahsoka literally to barely break a sweat. Great stuff. Um, the mention of Lord Vader as well. Again, seed, seed, seed in her head. Like, she's gonna... She's got a name now. I don't think she had it before, but she's got a name now. Lord Vader. So, great stuff. Um, again, I love the fact it's like, we will protect the kids. We have to, you know, th- this happened before. They'll continue doing it. They are doing it now. They'll continue to do it. So we now have to make it our bread and butter to save these kids, you know? Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed that little moment as well. They're all sort of like they're holding babies happy. It's great stuff. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Like parenthood suits, every single one of them in in that um, in that um, vessel, I guess call it. Now I don't know whether Zeb ends up fathering a child. I don't know if he can, if species can, like you know, because you know he's supposed to be the last of the sats. So I don't know, or if he has been a father, like maybe he doesn't want to have a kid again, you know, but. Yeah, <clears throat> but then we obviously know Kanan fathers a child, but I don't know whether he ends up being around to see it. Um, Ezra is again could be having cross species sex with the you know those like crab crab people. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, who else is in there? Ahsoka, yeah, Ahsoka. Everyone's Ahsoka's child. She she's she's a child of light, and she'll spread that light upon them. That's it. Anyway, that's that sounds like some culture is. In some way, you probably could look at it as cults, as you know, that's all. Anything. I'll, I'll get distracted. Anyway, and then the last bit, they listened to the recording, and I'm still annoyed at Ezra for that. But overall, great two episodes. Thoroughly enjoyed them. It's just, it, it is, it, it's, for 23 minutes, it, it can be so impactful to the story. I know but you'd hope it would be, but, like, it, it, it develops, but without developing too much, you know? It, it, it's it's giving you little nuggets of stuff, and they, and they fill it with so much that it doesn't feel like filler. You know, I don't like the term filler episodes because I think anything that explores character work is there. It, it can develop a series. So I don't believe in filler, but for them to have these in between, like these big episodes, to be able to then fill an entire episode with things that develop the story or the characters, it, they just do so well. And I think they've done it brilliantly these last two episodes i thoroughly enjoy them i'm so happy to continue watching it's been about a two week ep- um break in between because i had to do stuff so I, I i made sure i got recordings done so there was no break in between uh but i'm so glad that i watched these like two weeks because if i haven't watched it in two weeks so like i it feels great being back you know for me obviously no change for you but for me it's nice but yeah and i might again watch another two and then get that pre-edited because I'm, I'm 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 riding this Riding this way, this way, baby. Riving it. Riving it. What is word wrong? What is wrong with my words today? Oh my god. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you there, guys. So great two episodes. I'm happy I watched them. So, uh, if you liked the video, please like the video. Comment down below. What do you think of these two episodes? Which one was your favorite? Which do you not like about these episodes? If there is anything, what do you think of the whole? Again, let me know about where they also have brought up because uh, they mentioned about even the Clone Wars about them chucking down kids. Which episode in Clone Wars? If you know. 
where else they brought up because I know they I'm fairly certain they brought up in the Obi Wan series as well. Again, it's just all a bit of a blur. Uh, but yeah, let me know about that. Um, let me know what do you think of Ahsoka turning up, the mention of Vader, the previous episode as well. Uh, what do you think of you know Callus getting shat on again, but then also the guy got was the other guy got fucked up. Uh, what else happened in the other episode? So much. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of? Um, of Kanan and Rex squashing their beef, you know, things like that. Overall, out of this reaction to both the episodes, let me know what you thought and what you'd like to talk about below. That'd be great. If you like these size of videos, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, get a notification every time I upload. There's a bunch of other videos around here to do with me uh, reacting to certain things. Um, I react to, uh, well, well, I react to these sorts of things. I also react to things like, you know, Gen V, uh, uh, the, the Witcher, the boys, uh, you know, I react to all the Star Wars Disney Plus a series they're on there. I also react to the Marvel series. So most recently there's been uh, Echo, What If, Loki season two. They're on there. Uh, I also react to the um, to the MCU, the films, the Phase One to Three, the Infinity Saga with mate Josh. He's only he only watched like an epic few films and he couldn't remember them. So we thought let's take advantage of that. So the Infinity Saga of hit me and him reacting to it are on there as well. And I also do reactions to Doctor Who. Now I do reactions to the most recently by myself to the 60th anniversary as well as also Shooty's episodes. Uh, Shooty's Christmas um, episode. We also do reactions to Doctor Who with my little brother Charlie. And then we're on season three of the New Who, which is David Tennant with Martha Jones. So if anything like that sounds like, sounds like it takes fancy, guys, like, subscribe, notification bell, um, all that sort of jazz. But thank you again for watching. Great to be back. And I'll see, I'll see you out there. Almost forgot my outro. <laughs>